Hey there, it's Stefan Angelini from Angel Advisor and the Will Real Wealth Podcast. Talking something simple today, just salary sacrificing. Going to really unpack it uh, and talk about the effects on your personal cash flow, the effects on your superannuation, uh, and the effects on your overall taxes altogether. So if you're thinking about doing this, which is taking money from your pay and directing it straight into your super and getting a tax deduction straight away, then hopefully this is a really good episode for you to watch and to listen to. So let's go right back. By putting money into your superannuation and claiming it as a tax deduction, there's two ways to do it. You can do it via a salary sacrifice straight out of your pay, or you can make a lump sum contribution or a one-off contribution. Typically, people do this at the end of a financial year. Now, if you do it once off, you need to lodge what's called a notice of intent to claim form, and you can't get the tax back or the tax saving from that back until you've lodged your tax return. So something to think about there. The salary sacrifice is what a lot of people prefer to do because you nominate the money to come directly out of your pay. Now, I'm going to use an example because talking about numbers, it's easy to have an example. Let's take a person that earns $150,000 a year. They want to put in an extra $10,000 into super as a salary sacrifice. So let's really break it down. Firstly, let's start with the effects on superannuation. So when you make a tax deductible contribution to your super, you pay a 15% superannuation tax. Now, your $10,000 that goes in, $1,500 goes to the tax man, so your super will grow by $8,500 for that year. Great. That's a negative effect of this strategy. Then let's look at your personal taxation. So this person earns $150,000 plus super. That puts them in a tax bracket between in the year 2023 financial year. Their marginal tax rate is 37% plus a 2% Medicare levy. So 39% is their personal tax savings. So on $10,000 times 39%, that's $3,900 in personal tax savings. They should get back as a result of this strategy. So let's work out then their net tax benefit. The net tax benefit is the benefit you get in your personal name, less the tax you paid for your superannuation. So $3,900, take $1,500. So the net tax benefit is $2,400 on a $10,000 contribution. Awesome. Strategy works, makes sense. Let's go into what really is the decisive moment when it comes to salary sacrificing and should I salary sacrifice or not? The main component is cash flow, the effects on your cash flow. So by electing to salary sacrifice, your tax gets taken out immediately. So the effect on your cash flow is if you nominate $10,000 to go into your super, your tax savings we know is $3,900, which leaves you with $6,100. So essentially, what should be happening is your cash flow will be down by $6,100 for that financial year as a result of making the deductible contribution to super via a salary sacrifice. So you need to consider, can I afford, will my cash flow allow me to have $6,100 gone? Because once it's in super, it's gone until you meet a condition of release. Those being some sort of a weird circumstance, but mostly you're 60, you've seized employment, you've retired, or you're older than 65. And that's when you can start to get access to your super. So it is a great way to start to save in your super. It's extremely beneficial when you're 50 plus because you can see access to super insight. But it's really important for people to consider that cash flow effect, not just the net tax benefit every year from doing it. It's a great strategy. It's a really simple one we look at all the time. Hopefully, this has helped to ed educate you just a little bit. If you've got any questions on if it relates to you yourself, um, because just keep in mind that this is just general information. It's not personal advice. If you're looking to seek out personal advice, please go and consult a licensed financial advisor. Reach out to the team at hello at angeladvisor.com.au and we should be able to help you out. Happy investing.